With boots laced up and weapons held tight, 40 soldiers, one sailor and one airman from U.S. Division North competed in a biathlon on Cobb Spiker. It was a test of their uh, endurance and also how well they can shoot. The service members ran about 3.7 miles out to shortstop range, donned all necessary protective gear and fired 10 rounds at 25 meter targets. They then cleared their weapons and started the run back another 3.7 miles to the finish line. Uh, running in ACUs and boots, yeah, it wasn't a weapon. It really changed it. I didn't sling it on my back, I just carried it with me the entire way. And uh, yeah, it, it changes the dynamics of running. Quite a bit. The participants were split into three groups and before long the first runners were crossing the finish line, some with energy to spare Woo! Yeah. Third ID, baby. and dodging puddles along the way. Well yesterday when they went to the range for practice it rained all day so back in combat conditions and then this morning it was a little drizzle and fog and cold. It's not supposed to be cold in Iraq. The service members received points not only for their runtime but also for how well they shot. The group moved to the main Cobb Spiker dining facility to wait as the scores were tallied. The points were close, but in the end, First Lieutenant Valerie Aquino and Specialist Douglas Long had the most points for the win. Lieutenant Aquino had the highest overall score by seven points. My goals were to not give up and to hopefully win. I won and I didn't give up, so yeah. The top three high scores for males and females were recognized, but all the competitors were praised for their outstanding performance. Reporting from Cobb Spiker, Iraq, I'm Specialist Abigail Waldrop.